Natalina e adesso sto preparando lasagna al forno. Natalina and 92 year old Teresa first make the pasta. They use 800 grams of semola rimacinata or finely ground durum wheat flour and six eggs. Water is needed to bring the dough together. Using flour is a good way to clean sticky hands. Natalina and Teresa knead the dough for a good 10 minutes. They divide the dough into manageable size pieces for rolling out. Natalina places the pasta sheets on drying trays. This lasagna has lots of different ingredients, including tiny meatballs or polpatini. The women make these with a mixture of minced beef and pork, Toscanello cheese, which is a kind of pecorino, eggs, parsley, breadcrumbs and salt. Then everyone gets to work, rolling marble-sized meatballs. It helps if your hands are wet. Teresa keeps one meatball to make sure the others are the same size. Dolores fries batches in plenty of olive oil. When browned, she drains them of fat before adding them to the tomato passata. This has been warmed through with some fresh basil. Meanwhile, the other ladies hard boil four eggs and chop them up. Shred mortadella and ham and slice a mozzarella. The pasta has to be simmered for a couple of minutes. Acqua fredda, nell'acqua fredda. Cold water stops it from cooking further. The ladies are now ready to assemble the lasagna. First they ladle in some tomato sauce before adding a pasta sheet. They sprinkle this with grated parmigiano and a little more tomato sauce. Then they create a layer of meatballs, salume, cheese, eggs and more passata. They repeat the pasta and filling once more and finish with a layer of pasta, tomato and parmigiano. Natalina pokes a fork through the dish so the sauce can soak through the layers. The lasagna is baked for 30 minutes in a hot oven. Lasagna al forno is a special occasion dish. Buon appetito! Click on the subscribe button for regular helpings of Pasta Grannies.